Bungie evening, guys. Uh, listen, I got a question for you. Why does FedEx say it will deliver a package by 8 p.m. today and it's 7.08 on a Saturday? I don't think it's happening. That means we're not gonna be able to control our lights from Alexa. Ain't nobody talking to you. Which artist? <laughs> that makes no sense. What you working on? My mixes. That's a lot of mixes. Check out the mixes, folks. This is the Laura Vittles. Look at my thumb. Getting prepped. Right there. What happened to your thumb? I've been, is that from uh, jamming your hand in that jar? Yeah. Cleaning it out? Oh, I just want to make sure it's completely clean because I've, I've run them through the dishwasher. The, the oh, sure uh, you get little dry. spots. Yeah. I just want to make sure that they're super, super, super dry, you know? So. Well. Oh my God. Let's get rolling. Are these for me? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh, you, oh, oh. you did? Yeah. All right. I actually bought you an extra bag. See that? That's all I want for Christmas. Oh, little things. A pair of slippers and a bag of M&Ms. You can have some slippers for a Christmas present for like... That's all I want. What a pair do you of slippers. guys want for Christmas? I want peace and love. Peace and love. And, and chaos. Let me explain what I mean by that. We need more... People. Forget the stuff. Let's bring chaos into a home. By chaos, that's what we used to call it when I was a child. My grandma used to call it chaos. It's wonderful chaos. Mm -hmm. Laughter and stuff everywhere, cooking and music blasting and tables full of cards and tombola and bingo. And that's what we need more of. We need more memories, more chaos, if that makes Let's sense. Let's get some chaos in here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're pretty chaotic people, but you know, yeah, we could use I'm more. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, that's what life should be about. Agreed. And that's what I want. That's what I want. Not only for me, but for everybody. Carrot chips. <laughs> Shredded. I don't know what. No, I know what all these are actually. Let's see if I can do this. Caramel chips. No, butterscotch chips. M&Ms. Mm -hmm. Flour. Sugar. Salt. Nope. Nope. Flour. Salt. One of them. Baking soda. Salt. Oatmeal. Cinnamon. Flour. All right. Well, I ran out of room on the memory card. What else is new? But look how beautiful they are. Aren't I like the layers. The layers are really cool. That's really cool. I have to say. I sound like Sal. Hey, Laura, this is so cool. And uh, there's oh, no oh, time. Oh, 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 The Christmas special. Yes! It's happening. I've been asking. You guys know I've had like a crazy, well, maybe you don't know. Well, you must know because we haven't been here. I've had a crazy, crazy, crazy month of November. Can we just make one Craig? thing clear real quick what? before you go on? And I'm sorry for interrupting you. Oh. Um, we are working on projects that we can't exactly talk about. When, the way it works mm -hmm. in the TV world is you sign a piece of paper and you are not the one in charge of what's going to happen next. That's why on Breaking Bad, Brian Cranston can't tell you what happens in the final season yeah. because he signed a piece of paper. Anyway, continue. Um, so anyway, I've been working on some stuff. When I'm allowed to tell you, I will. Just know that. Um, but anyway, I had a crazy November month that really, I wasn't really home we were at home for almost most of it. Two, two or three weeks. But the battery. And I got blanket. sick, like crazy, and a horrible. Everybody cold, got sick. Which I hear from a lot of you on Instagram that it hit your house really, really hard. Your house is really, really hard. Point is, we're back, baby, and we're gonna enjoy this holiday season. We're gonna have our Christmas special this year. We have a big Christmas at our house. We've got your siblings coming, mm -hmm. my siblings coming, your parents, your dad. And but the Christmas everybody. special will be a few days before Christmas. The Christmas will be on the 20th of December because that's the day we can do it it's gonna be on this on Sunday December 20th and I will let you guys know more date more uh, information as far as timing goes like what time is gonna happen but I think I'm gonna do it earlier in the afternoon instead of doing it second seven o'clock at night I think we'll do it early in the afternoon so that you guys can um, yeah it's a know, idea. hang out with us for the day <laughs> Joe, as we were approaching um, 
the tunnel, I have like butterflies in my stomach because coming to New York City around the holiday season is one of my favorite things in the entire world. And to me, it's absolutely magical. And oh, look at the star. Oh, and you can't see it. It's right in front of this truck. There's a star hanging right well, there. I'm sure you're gonna see a lot more stars in the next couple hours. I know, but, but I'm so excited because New York City in at Christmas time is incredibly magical. And if it snows and it's Christmas time, then yeah, let's see if we can get some snow. You just you never want to move because it's so it's bright. It's oh, here's a star. Here's a star. Here's us. That's your first star of the season. There it is. Different snowflake. Well, star, snowflake, star, what have you. Times Square. I don't know if you guys can see. There's not a whole lot of twinkling lights from here, I guess. Yeah, we gotta go up a little farther. You know what we should do? We should come here for New Year's Eve. Oh, I can't even imagine that. I'm sorry, but I can't. Um, it's so crazy busy around here. Well, you get to take a nice break from the kitchen. And um, we're gonna try to go to a Pudo. <laughs> if, <laughs> if we can get a seat, because you know how that goes. Okay, so a Pudo didn't work out. They had an hour wait. So we're going to Le Hal. I'm hungry now. And I have no more memory card. I need to empty it off. Ain't nobody here, but it's very decorated and I love it. It's very nice. This kale and steak salad is kale my steak favorite. Salad, Laura's I'm favorite. Also steal fry. And I got a um, steak au poivre with fries. This is the first time you guys can actually see what we're getting here because this new camera is much brighter. Last time it was the old camera. Hey, who's stealing my fries? You're welcome to have whatever you want. I couldn't resist the cheesecake. You know, I'm a sucker for cheesecake. What can I say? You know, I went completely summer and got peach sorbet. I love it. It's beautiful. Look at that. The tree. I know. But it's not it's not the Rockefeller Center tree. Oh, I can't even see it anymore. But tomorrow we can go there because we got to get up early tonight or tomorrow. It's too far away. So, we'll go tomorrow. And then maybe, since we'll be close to it, we can finally get a put up. Oh yes. Well, we were close to it earlier. There it is. There it is. Look at that beautiful view. It's nice out. I don't know when the snow's coming. I don't know when the real cold weather's coming, but I'm enjoying it. And I'll take it as I get it. If I get one week of snow, or one snowstorm, I'll be happy. That's all I need for a year. What do you think? Just one? Pork buns are life. Yes, they are. Well deserved, sweetheart. You are a very, very hard worker and you deserve a pork bun. We're trying something a little bit different today. We got salad with fried prosciutto, wasabi dressing, and tofu. I don't know, is that the, what's that stuff on top? I think it's a seaweed. Ramen is life. In fact, there's a waiter here. His shirt says, no ramen, no life. I gotta take some of the spiciness off of here though. Oh, spicy, spicy. All right, here she comes. Careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not as crazy as I thought it would be, but it is Monday in the afternoon. There's the tree. Well, I'm glad you can see the lights during the day. I thought it was gonna be a little hard to see, but there she is, the big tree. And um, it's not very crowded right now, surprisingly. Usually it's so jam-packed you can't even walk around out here, but it's also usually a lot colder. So, happy camper. And it's usually at night. That's true, not on a Monday in the afternoon. Normally it's during the weekend. There they go. Bling, 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 bling. I know. It's been a windy year. You gotta keep it safe. Did you bring your ice skates? Yeah, right. I will, I will lay in front of my feet. That'll be fun though. We should do it sometime. Maybe we'll go to Central Park and go ice skate over there. Well, we gotta drive back. We got up early. I'm pretty ready to go. How about you? Rock on. Alright, in technology land, I want to show you guys this. Solar powered Christmas lights for a tree. There's actually two trees next to each other. And I don't know if it's enough, it's 72 feet. I think just five feet between the trees. So that means 72 minus five, what's that come to? 72 minus five is 67 feet divided by two. Um, so we'll have like 30 some feet per tree. 33 feet per tree, if there's six feet 
in circumference, then we'll get like five rotations around the tree. That's pretty cool, and they have all different modes on it. So I'll report back how this goes after, over the next couple of days. It does look like there's a couple, are these burned out or are they flicker? Like maybe they're, is it on like a special mode? I don't know. I think they're supposed to be, well, let's see, mode. Um, nope, not burned out. Heading into Philly, we are, oops, sorry, it's very bumpy on this bridge. We're looking for some fish. We're looking for, we're going to the Reading Terminal Market because I'm hosting Christmas this year. It's a bunch of people coming over our house this year. And normally, I will, like, on a beautiful, perfect day, the day before Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving, the day before Christmas, I will go to uh, Cape May to the beautiful seafood area there to get the fresh seafood. But it's really far from where we live now. It used to be much closer, but now it's really far, and it's just not something that's in the cards. I know it won't happen. So what we are doing is we are heading to, I mean, obviously, we always have Whole Foods, and we also have White Men's that are both really great options for us. But I think for today, since it's, such, since it's such a nice day, we would take the opportunity to go to the Ready Terminal Market in um, Philly just to see what their seafood selection is like around this time of year. I purchased seafood from there before and I was really impressed, but this was years ago. So I don't like to leave things to the last minute. So we're just gonna scout around. Down and out. Yep. Beach. The beach and seeing what they have available. But I'm really excited. I'm wearing my I love you more than pizza sweatshirt. It's from Wild Fox. Okay. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do. It's a really nice day so we figured we have a few hours to spare so we're gonna go do a little browsing, a little fish browsing. Alright guys, this is the Reading Terminal Market, for anybody who's never been here. And it's as calm as you're going to see it. Yes, this is one of the calmest I've seen it. We usually only come here during the flower show week and um, holiday time. It's you know really nice. You know this place too? Benji. Benji comes to Benji? Philly. He comes here a lot. Got la creperie. Let's go find some seafood. Oh, I remember now when we came here. Man, you have a really good memory. First time we came here was when it was like our first New Year's together. So. Second New Year's? Oh, Christmas and New Year's. So they have lots of variety, lots of different things. It's a beautiful place. Look at this. Lots of beautiful stuff. Purple and yellow. Cauliflower. Got some Romanesco up here. We've got a Lara Vital. Yes, definitely. Head on shrimp. Yeah, man, that's the Italian way right there. I might take some of those to make a, a good, nice shrimp yeah. stand before Long to Kitchen tomorrow. Just, gonna just say, update it, you know? Yeah. Sounds like a wonderful plan. A large source of uh, inspiration for me, the Metropolitan Bakery. I've known about these people for a long time, and they have so many different varieties of bread. It's really amazing. Oh, yeah. Hook me up. Give me 10 of those. I know, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the place, the place in, um, in Chelsea Market. This is a lot like it. All kinds of variety, all kinds of greens. Whoa, that's a big one. Monster ginger. Isn't that beautiful though? Very nice. Uh, but you never use all of them. Uh, well, I wouldn't because I don't use ginger in everyday cooking. But what you can do, which is what I do, you can grate it, peel it, grate it, and then put it yep. in little mini ice cube trays of like one tablespoon worth. That way you know. Let me see if this can fit my. Can this fit in your car? We'll take the whole thing. Those are some monster Brussels sprouts. Look at the size of them. I know. And then golden so beets. Good. That's something you don't find every day. Uh oh, she found it. Kinder Bueno. Got all kinds of goodies over here. Yes. Is this like a? This is like a German store, right? I think yeah. Looks like it. They should have a whole lot more food. There's probably more in the back. German, crates of it. German candy and chocolate is my It's your favorite. weakness. It's my favorite. Kinder is a German brand. So I wanted to show you guys these because um, 
obviously their eggplant but you can see that they're small these are called Italian eggplant and they're very firm now I plan on making a couple of jars of my preserved eggplant that you guys know I make from my Nona's recipe all the time and you need really small firm eggplants because if they're the really big ones they have way too many seeds way too much sort of um, soft interior and it won't work they need to be small and firm Hi, handsome. I can't wait for this. <laughs> I love them. And um, I'm actually going to, I'm thinking about filming the process and sharing it with you and Laura in the kitchen if you'd like. So, because I know it's a very, uh, I actually have none left to show you what they look like because we used, we ate them all. But let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see it. If you do, I will film them in the next couple of days so that they can preserve for a couple of weeks and have them ready for the new year. I, I usually like to eat them um, on holidays. So it would be great around Christmas time as well if we start them soon. So let me know down below and I'll get these filmed probably Monday um, so that they can be out of the way and ready for you. But what you must know is that I'm not going to be able to give you like exact measurements of everything. You're going to have to pay a close eye you know, when you watch the video because it's all about... Um, depending on how many eggplants you have, all that fun stuff, it's, you know, everything will vary in terms of how much you need. But I want to share the whole process with you. But it's so important that you get the right eggplant. So enough jibber jabber and I'm really excited because I got six of them. I should have gotten more but I'm only going to make a few small jars because the fr the thing about these is when you have them on hand, at least for me, I am so crazy about them that I will eat them constantly and it's not, I mean, they're, they're preserved in oil so it's not like the best thing for you to eat on a daily basis but I will if I have them. So I try not to make too many at once because then I eat them all. Quick chicken and lime soup also available on www.com. That's right. It smells so good in here. I can't wait to dig in. I'm hungry. We got some seafood. We got some, some working, produce. Eating and working. My life story. Yes. It's good though. It's delicious though. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm actually going to go get this video uploaded. Next week's going to be a lot of fun. We're actually shooting a commercial. Uh, Laura's going to be in a commercial and it's going to be, I'm hoping, we're going we're gonna to see. We're probably going to be able to share it with you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. So look for that. Should be coming to you soon. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, I... Got to go get this up there. I've been neck deep in writing some software, working on some control systems for a new conveyor line that we have. Been kind of crazy busy on all fronts around here, so I can't complain. Busy is good, especially when it gets dark at like 4 o'clock, and it's kind of like the sad time of year as far as the sun goes. And where is the winter? If you live in the Northeast, you know what I'm talking about. There has been no snow. It does not feel like Christmas time. But uh, it, I'd rather be complaining about that than complaining about the minus 5 degree with the wind chill. That you're going to get in... Yeah. February or March. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in the next one. Give us yeah. some love. Hope you enjoyed the, the Christmas in New York section. That was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. See you next time.